Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into our conquest of the English. They were in my way, and therefore they have to go. Uh, so we're winding down our era. This, yeah, so this is where we want. This is where we need our general for extra movement. And here we, we got to keep a promotion. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? Tech wise, I need education. Because contrary to what Pink Floyd said, we do. Um, I know I eventually want Space Race. We could go Magnus and try to chop out the uh, Petra. Which I think is a reasonable idea. What else could we do? What are the Envoy situation? If I grab an Envoy... Oh, we're going to get a Suzer in here in two turns after we squeeze out that horse. <laughs> okay, so that's that seems fine. We don't have to grab Amani. That's what I was considering there. Uh, Reyna would be okay. Liang would be okay. But I think I just like Magnus. Give me my chops. Actually, let's bring let's bring let's go to Liverpool real quick and try to chop out these pyramids. How fantastic would that be? So we want to take the city next turn. And I believe we can see in our tooltips here. So that there's that 20%. See at the bottom of this tooltip? That 20% is our is our um Warlord's Throne. Only three era score needed. Yeah, we can do polders now. I could I could make that one Level happen, hopefully. I need rooster chorizo. Where can <laughs> I find this? I don't know. That's a good question. I'll save this polder. We don't necessarily have to get it. Thank you, Delita. Thank you for the five dollars. Um and that, that can guarantee we get our era score, but we're going to get a suzerain and a horse here in two. So we're actually good. So I don't I can save the polder for just a few turns. And this is what I talk about when, when I'm talking about saving era score. The discussion came up last week when, when it's like, oh, but, you know, you, you don't actually create a higher threshold or whatever. Like the difference between what you need to go to and, and need, need to get to a golden age doesn't really change, blah, blah, blah. But when, you, when I'm talking about saving era score, I can, get, I can get era score from making this first polder exactly one time. And so to, th to use it at the end of this era is a waste, right? Like you want, you can save this era score for the next one. True, it won't make our next gold. Golden Age harder to get, but it will make it easier to get because we'll have extra era score next era. Cool. That worked okay. I'll do a research alliance with her for the time being. Let's grab that. Are we killing England? Maybe. Maybe. Although this applies to Petra, which I want to start lickety split. Where'd it go? There it is. Let's go maintenance now. Unit maintenance. Our gold is somewhat poor. I can actually bring in craftsmen if I want production. I could also just bring in some settler production. I want to squeeze out a couple more settlers. It's so late in the game to be doing so, but basically I need I need places for my bombers to live. So I think we we want a couple more cities. And I'm not even running oligarchic legacy. We could be. Settlers 320 faith or 640 gold, neither are going to happen. I don't think there was era score for this baby. Plus six production. Let's 
get our dams going. So, <clears throat> what does this city do? Why is London so bad? Oh my goodness. I guess that theater square would make the most sense. But I'd want to chop first. I need some builders, I think. Yeah, we could grab Harbor Tech in a sec. I love, I love that we're, we are like, so this is, this is seven C's and it's like, it's, we're technically able to get over here, maybe through Babylon. I don't know. If I sused Babylon, we'd meet them again. I'm trying to avoid that. That's going to be new era score that we don't need right now. So, where are we going? Harbor Tech, Astrology. Basically, just want to go right to Rur now. Wubba lubba dub dub! Sushi or pizza for lunch? Can't decide. So, do you, do you, know, you want to know a really sad fact about my life, Delita? Thank you for the $5. Um... I, I've never, like, so I really enjoyed fish as a kid. And I found out that I'm allergic. So I have never, ever been able to enjoy sushi, nor will I. So have some in my honor. I need not a bombard here. <laughs> Yeah, just no fish. Um, yeah. And it's very, very sensitive. Uh, like, if if McDonald's fries their fish sandwich in the same oil that I get my French fries from, I will have a reaction. So it's very, very sensitive. Which is a bummer. Because it was one of the... I was a really picky eater as a kid, and it was one of the few things I actually really liked. My, my last meal, as it were, was uh, was was salmon. So this is the turn we want to take it, right? And I don't know how it's going to work. <laughs> See you, Delita. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for all the support again today, and I appreciate you. Enjoy. Interesting, Tamorius. Huh. There. I like, I really love that Birmingham made an aqueduct, but not Plymouth. I'll build it. It's cool. I'm on it. I am on it. Okay. No, they don't have Earth Goddess. This is from Great Bath, I think. Oh, 
Okay, three turns left on the era. Uh, we're about to get all the era score we need. This horseman will be one, and the suzerain will be three, or two, rather, uh, and that'll get us the full three. What's my opinion on building railroads? I find it very tedious, and I don't do it. <gasps> Did they sneak in the suzerain? Wait a minute. What? I didn't get era score for the suzerain. Why not? Like, what? What? Why not? Where's my era score? No, nobody, no, uh, maybe conquered and liberated, I guess, but what, she conquered it and liberated it herself? AI could have used a Monty for Suze and moved her. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That's, that's a realistic uh, option. All right, so I need two more era score. Again, I have the polder in my back pocket. So I don't need to worry too much about it. So what do we do now? What's the easiest way to grab two era score here? Because it's four for the polder. We go over just a little bit. It's not too bad, though. You got a little banged up here, dude. I'm not, I don't really need to take out this encampment. Yeah, levy would work. 515 to levy there. 450 up here. Like, I don't think that's worth the money. Not when we not when we can just grab a polder and just be done with it. I could go meet them for one. This is what I was a little bit afraid of. Because an attack here and an attack here, I probably lose that sword. Which is a bummer. Oh well. Two turns left. I'm just kind of waiting. We might stumble into it somehow. Wow. I mean, this is a pretty big city, so it makes sense that it's going to be harder to take, but holy cow, that hurt. I got him sieged now. Probably grab this industrial zone. First. Let's 
plus five is pretty good. All right, so this is the last turn of the era, right? So we want to grab our polder before the end of this one. Oh, we do have a battering ram here, don't we? Ah, medieval walls. Medieval walls. Okay, I'm gonna wait a second. Smooth Johnson, thank you so much for the four months. Welcome on back. Appreciate that a lot. I don't know what it is, but Wilhelmina looks like she makes an awesome cheesecake. <laughs> Wilhelmina is an awesome sieve. Uh, what would not be awesome here would be losing this city to barbs. <laughs> Please don't. Please no. Speaking of barbs. Yeah, the boat would work too, wouldn't it? <laughs> but that I'm buying a boat from that dumb city too. I could buy it in Cahokia as well. I I'm I'm pretty happy just doing this. So we have our beautiful polder. Not much of a tile until you stack them all next to each other, but they can get pretty cool. You can get to the point where it's pretty neat. All right, so into the Renaissance. Annoying. Annoying. Couldn't have waited one turn. Uh, Genghis Gar, thanks for the follow. Whatever. It's fine. A so we stay in a golden here. And we pick our dedication, which I think we stick with... Uh, I don't have the trade routes to justify this, and our science from uh, commercial hubs is gone. I think we probably stick with monumentality just for like the movement and things. I think that's fine. I didn't have my general in those attacks, sadly. Huh. I am gonna shoot him. Yes, they sure do, Zub. And Genghis Gar, thank you so much for the brand new Prime sub. Welcome on into the shop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Love the brand new subs. I know, I was thinking about moving the RAM for an upgrade. It's, it would almost be faster just to like buy one. I think we'll get there. Units are still pretty strong. Been watching on YouTube for ages, figured I'd send you some value for value. Thank you, Genghis Gar. I love that. That makes me very, very happy. And uh, welcome, welcome on in. Happy to have you here at the live stream. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I love that we're converging on this. This is the weirdest barb issue, I think, ever. Pretty, pretty scary. Do I build computers? Is it fun? And have I considered it? I, yes. 
I build my own computers. I have probably for the last 13 years or so. Um, this is my second major PC I've built for myself, but I've helped numerous friends and relatives build their own. Uh, I really like the process. I like the control it gives you. Um, building your own computer can be a bit of a, it, it's a tinkerer, like it's a, it's a, it's a tinkerer's craft, right? Like you have to, you, you're you your own tech support. So you have to kind of love fiddling with it and understand enough about computers to, to be able to make it go. Um, but in general, I very much, I very much enjoy building my computers. Actually, I'm going to run Oligarchic Legacy for a couple turns while we do this. I'm not building any settlers, am I? That's a wasted policy. Oops. That's an oops. We'll just give these guys a little extra strength. Yeah, it's a super fun experience and not nearly as hard as it used to be. I'm very, very happy. I the part the purpose of that move and attack was to hopefully debate the encampment into hitting the weaker target which is my crossbow here so we're actually going to do that again just to try to draw fire from my muskets do i play a tinker in gloomhaven i haven't yet i'm D jackal was here earlier i haven't yet played gloomhaven unfortunately um, my fan of liquid cooling, I think true liquid cooling is probably more trouble than it's worth. Um, I haven't, I haven't gone to that point, but there's, there's like so much liquid in air cooling now that like, I just don't think it's, I don't think it's necessary. Like unless you're overclocking and if you're overclocking, you're accepting the fate of your, your parts dying faster, which is fine. I've overclocked before. Um, although I don't overclock my current PC. Hey, Dun Dun. How you doing, dude? Is that a scientist attacking Birmingham? Kind of. Kind of. It helps me heal. I've never wanted to mess with liquid inside my computer. I don't know why it feels wrong. <laughs> yeah, I did this the opposite way. I should have my crossbows down here dealing with the uh, with the barbs and my bombard up towards the city. But Here, we're meeting people. See, we're, we're meeting people. We're being social. We're making friends. Everything is going well. What up, bro? You like stuff? You don't like stuff? Dude, everyone likes stuff. I forgot that this guy got a promo. So we'll move the scientist here and we'll heal for one round. I enjoy that you're ignoring my city, but I'm also very curious as to what you're up to there, barbarians. Okay. He, she got a knight out. Not all. Ideally, I'm taking the city this turn, right? 
because we just lost our five production. I kind of just want to keep going for the city. See how much we healed there? Those, those attacks barely hurt me. Okie dokie. Keep going with builders, I think. Huzzah. Hey, we got walls. How bad's our war weariness? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I need my production back. I need my uh, Warlord's Throne kicking in. <laughs> Why doesn't the world like us? I lost a unit. Oh, <laughs> the barbs lost units. Lol, lol, lol. <laughs> Am I worried about War Warriors counteracting my 20% bonus? I mean, it is what it is, right? There isn't much I can do about it. Bye, England. And England, thank Providence. So there's our production back on. Again. By Veriscore for wiping her out. And hey. What a great city to buy a settler from. Where else can we get some settlers? Okay, cool. So Vicky gone. Barbarian's still a thing. And we're headed towards industrialization. So we're going to hit industrialization here. Eight turns. We will actually be able to get the boost for that. Which is not something I'm used to being able to get. I should definitely get a... Um... Holy cow. <laughs> Um, but, 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 but what about harbors? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know yet. So we need to get to pop 13 for our next um, thing here. I need to switch out of the settler policy. I think I'm buying my settlers, not building them. We have too many important things to build. So we're a tech leader. We are not anywhere near culture leader. Who is the next target? I honestly don't know. I guess I guess it would make sense to try to go through Dido next, right?
Okay. Oh my goodness. Do we know who's to the right? I. This is Georgia, I think. So there's him. I don't even know really how we met Georgia, Frank. Frankly. So we could increase strategic stockpiles with this. I don't think that's totally necessary. Let's get our buildings. Faith is not nothing. Um, Cause we're in monumentality. So let's heal up our army. We have the scientists that can help us do that very quickly. And then I think we start positioning for Dido. Yes, there were like hundreds and hundreds. There were there were five there were six hundred gifted subs yesterday. So you may be out there and be sub to me out of nowhere and make sure that you uh thank the person responsible. Weirdly, I'm okay with that. I don't really need it right now. Power Lloyd, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. There is little man has So Celestial Navigation allows me to get these pretty quickly. Go ahead and give the option for harbors. Maybe I will get one settler here. We've got five more turns of running it. <laughs> okay, I guess we don't get to clear that. So science or culture? I like the plus five culture, I think. So all our muskets are healing really quickly. I think I'm going to move them kind of all at once. Yes, so many tens of subs were given away. Uh, Babylon for our library bonus. And we're not giving them tiles. They already have them. Doesn't it make sense to leave Dido as an ally and make your way around to her? I mean, kind of, but how do I, how do I war in this direction? Twenty turns. I mean, that's enough time for us to kind of like move in position, yeah. I don't really want to take Babylon when we're thinking space race. I don't believe in astrology. Is Dido's religion any good? Yes. Divine Inspiration is quite nice. Just how you harvest a deer. How would you decide on keeping a deer versus harvesting it? Um, <clears throat> I don't ever... So London, London, for as bad as London is, I'm, I'm certainly never going to be working that tile, right? A tundra deer. Um, so, like, usually the closer you get to the end of the game, the more incentivized you should be to chop things and harvest everything in the world, including, like, crabs and copper and things like that. 
Um, in this particular case, I just kind of valued, like, let this city get a district down, you know, and start doing something for me. Um, there are very few situations where you should keep stone or deer. Uh, stone on flat land is sometimes keepable if you think you're going to be uh, a little bit light on productive tiles. Uh, but if it's stone on a hill, you should just chop the stone and put a mine on the hill. Because you just get, they're worth a lot of production. Deer and stone specifically worth a ton of production. How do you harvest stone? You get the civic or whatever, but then you don't have the option to. I mean, once you unlock masonry, you can harvest stone. Um, you just have to have a builder there to do it. And you need to remove... First, you need to remove your quarry, and then you can harvest it. Yeah, no. Almost always... I mean, you could keep deer, like if you had Temple of Artemis, or you're running the Camp Pantheon, which you really shouldn't do. Um, but most of the time, you want to chop. there. I mean, I'm not going to be able to clear that. It's a little bit of a gamble to clear that right now, because what if next turn there's a barb camp that spawns right here, right? Could be a bit of a problem. And all I ask. All right, that gets me to Celestial Navigation. Think about going. I want to go to Rur first. I need this lumber mill. Where's a builder that can do a lumber mill for me? How is there no lumber to mill? I'll do that one. Again, you should normally chop this, but I'm going to make the lumber mill, I think. I can make that one. That works. <laughs> Pretty much hungry. I get that. I know that harvesting the deer is more efficient or better, but I balk at using losing the yields. Personal preference. I, I get that, and 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 that's fine. You don't. You certainly do play however you like. Um, but but know that like, so. So your camp gives you two gold, right? And then once you're at mercantilism, it, it does give you uh, production and food, which is quite nice. And later on in the game, it'll give you that much more gold. But remember that at this point in the game, when you're at synthetic materials, how many more turns are left in the game, right, to even use that gold? Um, and then this is simple math. Like if you're going to get 100 production and there are less than 100, 100 production for the chop and there are less than 100 turns left in the game, chop it, right? I'd, I'd get this commercial up, but again, we have the issue where we need to grow. We need to get up to 10 so that we uh, we get to build the university and time that out with pop 10 and then we can get the commercial hub. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And especially if you can couple those chops with policy cards and or Magnus. It's funny that I didn't even need to uh, <laughs> put Magnus here, speaking of him. Probably move him here for uh, rare stuff soon. Webstar, thank you so much for the three months and welcome on back to the shop. Good to have you here. Thank you, thank you. And I'm glad you guys learned when watching the stream. That makes me very, very happy. That pleases, that pleases me greatly.
Um, that's a good question. So, so the, the, the math, the, the napkin math, back of the napkin math does change a little bit if you have Buenos Aires, but all you need to do is leave one copy of stone, right? And one deer tile. Cause you just, it, they work like luxuries in that you only need one copy to get the amenity benefit and additional copies don't help you. I can't believe we finally dealt with all those barbs. That's fantastic. Unless you're new skin, Catherine. Yes, of course. From the height of these pyramids. Is Petra gone? No, we're building it. Forty centuries. Currently building it. And apparently the pyramids too. <laughs> Which that's that's awesome, right? It's pogorific. Can be labeled. All right, so six turns on industrialization. We'll finish the Petra and then start Rear Valley. Uh, I could use a builder here. We could use some trade routes here. We could use housing here. Let's commit some of our resources to helping that stuff out. Plus five theater square. We have exactly one polder. We don't have a ton of polder spots, but I'm going to get the ones that I can here. I think I can retire Sun Tzu now. That was a fun war. <laughs> Took like a hundred turns. Uh, Ref, thanks for the follow. And L, thanks for the follow. Welcome in, you guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate the follows. <laughs> now we're okay, because now we have vision. So now the barbs can't affect us. There was the barb camp that spawned, though, so I need to be careful, and I need to deal with these on my way up to uh, Dido. We've certainly lost our 20% production. I don't quite have the massive military we need to, to kind of hit hit that over and over and over. Would you be their builders? That's a good question, Paisley. I'll look. I have the spot in my capital. Oh, no, I don't. I'll, I'll need an amphithe amphitheater for Sun Tzu. Yeah, that's this. This is no bueno. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna have barb issues again. Yeah, it's not great. So enlightenment next, hit rationalism. Catching up in culture a little bit. We are getting our theater squares online finally. I'm building the workshops. I need dark gold per turn to be better. Like, a lot better. Dropping that, dropping that. 
<clears throat> Builders make sense because we can faith buy them, as Paisley su suggested, which I should do. Uh, and then Merchant Confederation isn't too bad if I'm looking for gold per turn. I think I'm almost done with Petra. I have a lot of good theater squares, right? Like, we should just run the campus and the theater square, and frankly, the, the production. What a weird, what a weird government setup that we're going with here. Like that. Fourteen culture, and then doubling all of these industrial zones that we have. Seems good to me. No idea, Birder. Why? Why? I I like influence points still. We're about to get Newton too, and that's gonna synergize with the Enlightenment. So let's see, I should do this. 360 for another settler though. I'm building this one. I know I took out the policy, but that can go over here. And I think that was the last city that I wanted, right? I need help here. Yeah, Bible banger. I mean, I, I it's it it I you can see it happen, right? Like at the start of the stream, I'm like really focused. And by like hour four of the stream, I'm like Okay, I need a break. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, it, it definitely can be draining um, trying to keep up. Like, keep playing at a high level and talk to 340 people. And, you know what I mean? Like, there's definitely a lot to it. I just want this. I know I shouldn't spend the money on this, but I want it. Aha! Yay! Yay, they're so beautiful. They seriously look awesome. Big fan of those. I wish one, two, three. Cause that that's that's pulled horrific in there. Yeah, London got kind of hosed on that capital. That was a bummer for her. <laughs> I think polders are made of cake. Wait. So who needs a um, university and library? Surprise cheer. Surprise cheer. Thank you so much. Captain Morgan, thank you for the 210. I appreciate it. So pretty much any of these, right? Doesn't matter. We'll just do that. You know, it's not made of cake, sushi. But what if it was made of cake, huh? How was your sushi? Doo -doo -doo. Trying to keep my and my uh, generals over here to help with movement. Escorting the crossbows, trying to stay in range of the muskets. My man. Did I follow the Twitter drama last night? 
Oh, with like all the um like hacking and stuff. Handstock, thanks for the follow. I mean I saw that that happened. I'm not one I'm not much I'm not I'm not much of one to follow drama ever. It just bores me. See ya, Hemlock. The cake is a lie? Oh no. The cake is a lie. Let's get that plus four harbor going. I need money. Yeah, I don't know. We'll play. We're we're playing Ethiopia next uh, week for sure. Next Thursday, as soon as they come out. As soon as they come out. Hmm. He likes me a little bit. How about it? Oh, can't be a polder. Mountain blocked. Ethiopia seems like a sieve that I dreamed up and they made. <laughs> I'm very excited for Ethiopia. They look awesome. I can get to 15 here, huh? Let's do it. I have some massive cities. Absolutely massive. Fall behind there, little swordman. What's so good about Ethiopia? Decent faith sieve. They're an amazing faith sieve, and they're, I think, a top tier culture sieve, which makes me very happy because culture is my favorite type of game. No, no demands. How dare you? <laughs> this sword or this uh, this horse is just doing work, by the way. All right, so there's industrialization and the enlightenment turn 144. I tend to stockpile resources too much. How, how do you determine which civs to trade with? It really it all depends on your game, right? It it completely depends on your game. I don't think I realized that coal could spawn on flatland. That's interesting. I want a bigger government. Because I would very much like to run this, but I don't have a... I don't have that great of a spot for it. Like, what do I take out? I guess just this. Can spawn on flatland woods, but the woods were chopped. That, that tracks. That tracks. So we're going to flight first. Uh, I think that if we want to make Warlord's Throne work, we're going to need um, planes and stuff. Also, our empire is very, very sad. This is a lot of cities to have on a single continent. Uh, I mean, I guess I have this as well, but you, you see my point. 
Uh, and we're getting a little long. I'm, I'm going too long. I'm starting to enjoy the game a little too much, and I'm not paying attention to the clock. Thank you so much. If you've been watching over on YouTube, I do appreciate it. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come join us in person on the internet. See you then.